guys, welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Today we're going to be looking at another Pico Zekrom um, version of the deck. So this time I decided to play it with the Judge, a little bit, uh, you know, complicated deck list. It might seem like it is, it is not, but it is. Um, the problem with this deck list is that I'm only running four copies of Judge and two Volkners and one Lysia as the supporter. Um, as the supporter card, so yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna just waste too much time. Let's just go quickly to the deck list because this is pretty much well known deck for the audience all around the world. So, um, the main focus, of course, is uh, around Pika Zekrom, but um, this time I'm playing this deck so I can potentially have you know uh, some disruption cards that can potentially disrupt my opponent. Um, there are a couple of them. The first one is of course Sigilip with the Mirror Hunter, which in the Mirror Match can be very broken. If your opponent decides to, you know, use Full Blitz, even that, um, um, where, where the heck it is, there it is, Tandem Shock, on your Sigilip, that Mirror Hunter would just knock that Pokemon back, because you're taking the double because of the weakness. On the other side of the field, it can also be good against, for example, Mewtwo and stuff like that. Then, because you can just uh, promote Zapdos or maybe Hoopa in the active position and take the knockout for triple price card, exchanging only two. Um, there is a Hoopa, of course, with Evil of Domination. There is one Absol with the Dark Ambition. Um, of course, a couple of Jirachis, and then, you know, pretty much standard um, Pika Zekrom, uh, Lone Raichu, um, Zero Aura, and the Dean GX. So, um, yeah, the strategy of this deck will be to set that full blitz as fast as possible and then just to use power plants, um, judges, and the recess stamp to disrupt our opponent hand as much as we can. Uh, for the setup, I'm running four electromagnetic raiders, two custom ca uh, two cherish balls, and uh, two Pokemon communications, of course, four copies of custom catcher. Um, four copies of Electromagnetic Raider and then two Energy Switch and one Tax Switch. Additionally, from Disrupting Cards, I'm running one copy of Reset Stamp, two copies of Power Plant, one Thunder Mountain for that, one uh, less Energy Attack, um, three copies of Switch and one Escape Board. As I mentioned earlier, four copies of Judge, one Lysia, so I can pull um, Thunder Mountain and Tapu Koko. And the single turn, two copies of Walkner and 11 Lighting Energy cards. So yeah, this is the deck list I'm gonna use in today's video. It's very weird deck list. No Cynthia, no Lily, of course. I should definitely run um, two Cynthias in this deck as well. Uh, maybe discarding Sigilif and you know some sort of Energy Switch wouldn't be the the stupidest thing in the world. So yeah, if you don't like it, if you have lack of the draw support, you can always this card those two cards i wouldn't touch pretty much any other card maybe potentially stadium nav but the good thing with the stadium nav is that you can walk her into the stadium nav into the power plant so you can lock your opponent so that's the reason why stadium nav is such a good card in this build anyways this is the deck list that i'm going to use make sure to hit a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you already didn't so see you in the game so this is my version of um, pika zekrom deck so I'm running this deck basically with um, four copies of Judge, and the Judge is pretty much the only um, draw supporter that I have, as well as a Volkner. So no Cynthia, no additional options. So you probably wonder um, how this deck can work. Well, um, it can work, but you need to have pretty much a lot of luck um, for example in this situation you can see that I didn't um, find Jirachi as the starting Pokemon and my opponent have Lily so what else I need to say here so basically he can just Lily grab the cards until he have eight in his hand um, after the judge, so judge was not the most effective thing in the world here. And something tells me that he plays some sort of the Blastly Skeldeo deck. 
Pure Heart, which says that you can prevent all effects of attack, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponents, Pokemon GX, or Pokemon EX attacks. So, I did manage to wake up, and additionally, I'm gonna search my deck for one copy of Lighting Energy. Additionally, I'm gonna play Volkner for Electromagnetic Crater and... I think that's pretty much gonna be it. As it looks right now, I need to reset stamp my opponent hand. Then I'm gonna use my Raider uh, for switch energy and I'm searching my deck for the Picozac, uh, for the Zero Aura and for the Dingy X. So for these two Pokemons. And what are we gonna do here is we're gonna switch retreat or actually retreat switch and then play the din for extra resource. Um, additionally, gonna put hoop on the bench as well as this power plant. And I think that's that's enough for now. I can find the result for um, knockout. And I can take first prize card in the game, which is uh, Raichu, so I can trade that Raichu. Um, it's, uh, the problem with the power plant is simple. When you put power plant in play, you pretty much lock your zero aura ability. So you cannot have that free retreat. And your opponent can't also use Jirachi, so maybe I manage to slow him a little bit here if he plays Jirachi. But if he don't play Jirachi, I won't be able to slow him. But at least, I have my communication available. So I'm gonna definitely trade Raichu into the um, Tapu Koko. And with the Tapu Koko, I can actually use Dance of the Asians attached to energies. Discard after that Tapu Koko Prism. Since I can't hit for the knockout, I can at least show one electromagnetic raider. Then I can draw a card with the custom catcher, which is another energy card. That is actually not that bad. So I'm gonna definitely use that energy right here. Two extra cards. There is a judge and communication as well. Is there anything good that I can actually use? I'm thinking about grabbing that Pico Sacrum, set him in the play, judge my opponent down to four, and there's another custom catcher. I already attached energy, so I can only tender as a soul for four. And that's a good enough, uh, that's a good enough uh, amount of the damage. This will take the swift damage for each of your opponent's bench and Pokemon. All right. So if my opponent knocks my Zapdos with his Keldeo Sonic Edge, I'm gonna definitely promote Sigil if in the active position. Actually, I won't because Mirror Contra can't knock him out as long as the power plant stays in play. Okay, right now I can do that. Um, he have three Pokemons with abilities in play. Maybe he can have another one. Additionally, maybe not. I know that the next thing that I'm gonna probably do, and the most obvious thing, will be to maybe my Koopa in the front, as for the beginning, and then I can retreat to the Zero Aura. And with the Zero Aura, I can swing for the knockout. So seems reasonable to me. Definitely, I'm hitting for 160. Actually, no, I can't. All right, I actually miscalculated myself because I don't have stadium card in play. So I'm gonna need that power plant so badly. That was, um, that was um, a little bit too great for me. So I'm gonna need to find a way to Okay, first thing that can happen, I can always switch onto my um, Sigilyph, for example, and then I can switch that Sigilyph next turn and finish him with the Hoopa. So, I can also set the knockout in this way. Two options available. I wish I can use Tag Switch, 
and swap energies from zero hour to pico zekrom so i can potentially take four price card knockout with my um, tank ball gx unfortunately that thing not gonna happen but what will happen here will be one communication for squirrel play into the first blastoise and then okay i mean keldeo definitely not bad deck i miscalculated myself luckily i managed to draw that switch otherwise my zerora would probably be knock it out and the problem is that i already lost all three copies of switch I lost all three copies of Switch. When you run out of the Switch options, <laughs> that is definitely not good. So, Mirror Counter can return the amount of the damage done to the Sigilyph from that Keldeo attack, so it just... it is just question... Okay, I mean, Keldeo prevents the damage done from the GX, so I'm not sure how this will work. Probably he will take nothing with some catch. I would assume that he is taking nothing. Actually, he is taking 110 because probably of the ability. Probably because of the ability. Alright, never mind. It really doesn't matter too much because right now we can use Evil Domination Hoopa and finish the Keldeo with the knockout and I can score two prize cards which is another lighting energy and cherishable none of these two cards are actually usable here because I already have full bench as well as energies in my hand there is a Pokegear 3.0 an interesting decision for my opponent was to promote the blasters with the powerful squall in the active position he is the only one that can actually hit for the knockout with the Hydro Tycho so the question just still remains. All right, there is Bench Barrier Mew and Purple Squall. How many energies he can find? He needs three of them, of course. And there is only one, two. There's there, there's a there is a two energies. And if he have an extra one in the hand, he can definitely Hydro Tackle for 150, so he have numbers with the Blastoise, and that's the most important thing. And additionally, he will take a price card. So what I'm gonna do next... Hmm. What I'm gonna do next, I don't have too many options available, I just need to take the Naka with the Zero Aura. And that's pretty much it, I need to be... Straightforward here with the Zero Aura, taking the Naga versus Blastoise, and then I'm gonna need to set my um, Tag Ball GX for the Naga. So I'm gonna need energy, another energy, energy switch, as well as. Hmm, alright, that's an interesting decision. So he actually rather let me do this. Um, I can have Return Knockout, so he can't even knock my Dedean GX out, which is a really cool thing, and I can pay Retreat Cost with my Skateboard. And if he swings for 150, um, he will take 30 damage back, so that's 130 damage from my side to do. And he just decided to concede the game after that move. Alright, there's the game number one, and there's the victory number one. So, Keldeo couldn't actually stand a chance against... Yeah, interesting decklist for sure against good old Pico Zekrom. So we're moving on to the game number two. Alright, so back in the action with the game number two. Back with action, starting with Jirachi. Cherish Ball Lycia as the starting turn one. Seems reasonable to use Lycia maybe for um, Tampa Coco Sap. Well, the problem with the Cherish Ball and Tender Mountain here is that you really don't want to waste your um, turn one. Hmm. Okay, as it is, I'm gonna set my Pika Zekrom in play, and I'm gonna use that Lycia so I can grab my um, Tapu Koko. Um, additionally, I can put one energy, use that Stellar Wish, um, into the Judge, which I'm not gonna use. So I'm just gonna pass my turn for now. Literally, that's gonna be it. I mean, the reason for that is. I have Thunder Mountain, I have Energy, 
energy switch. I have everything for turn one. Turn two, full blitz actually. Not sure what is going on on the other side of the field. Um, I'm not familiar with this card and with its evolution. So, some type of rogue deck, I will assume. For sure, I mean, I'm Snover. Can evolve into the Pokemon with the name. Very weird name. I can't even pronounce that name. Um, anyways, so we're gonna go with the energy attachment and the dingy X. So that should be one the D charge. There is a skateboard. Additionally, one electromagnetic raider for extra Jirachi energy into another Pika Sacrum. Um, what I can do here, in addition to that, I can use Stellar Wish, grab myself maybe a Walkner for the following turn. And is there anything that I really need to do or use? I guess I don't need. So that can be one Dance of the Asians for two energies. And with those two energy cards. Additionally, I can play one energy switch from Zero Aura up to another Pika Sacrum, and I can full blitz my opponent for 150. And I can take three more energy cards to my bench at Pika Sacrum. And that is pretty much turn 3 um, Tank Ball GX. Since I was starting first, there was no possible way for me to attack first. I just managed to set up properly. Additionally, you can see that I already have Pika Zekrom with pretty much five energies. I can also snap on my opponent bench. There's a Walkner as well. So Hydra Hammer hitting for 80 plus you're putting your opponent active Pokemon in a sleep mode. All right, even if I don't wake up, I can always use my switch. Since we have that Walkner available, um, I can also use energy, energy play, electro power. I have switch. I have so many options actually available. Um, I could do so many things, but I can also use tangles, the addition of the point bench, but he don't have nothing. And since that, um, that is easy game number two. Um, nothing super special, but as, at least you can see you know, the potential and the good plays of this deck. Alright, and we are here back with the action, game number 3. So, let's see what we can pull at the turn number 1. Pika Zekrom, Cherish Bowl, Power Plant, 2 Lightning Energy cards. This opening hand looks really, really, really interesting. I really need to say that because it is really interesting, so... Necrozma, oh, you gotta be kidding me here, seriously. So, not the best start in the world. Alright, is there anything else that I can do? I can't use my custom catcher. I mean, I'm just gonna go straight away with the DGX, literally. And I'm gonna grab myself a fresh hand. Wow, that's amazing. Um, stadium map right now might seem like a good idea, but... Um, oof, only Thunder Mountain. Well, then I'm not gonna do that. Alright, let's just go with the Judge. Let's just go with the Judge. And then again, no resources for the retreat. At least I have my Absol and I'm just gonna pass my turn. Alright, no switch, no luck. 
so I can start with my um, hmm. so I can start with my Jirachi in the front for the Stellar Wish, and after the Judge, my opponent drew that Lily. All right, all right. I lost my Stadium Nav Power Plant three Custom Catchers three from four. To be honest, in the last couple of testings with this deck. I even started to, I even stopped to play custom catchers because sometimes I just find myself in a position that the third one I need to discard them and then just the rest of them um, seems to be um, useless. So there is a hypnosis, at least you can um, hypnose me. Alright, I did pull another Electromagnetic Raider, which means that I can go with second to Dingy Eggs, but it's, since I only have one more bench space... Hmm, I'm gonna need pretty much good combination of the cards. For example... Um, well, okay, I can use Lysia because there's literally nothing else I can do. And I can grab myself Thunder Mountain for the following turn. Additionally... I guess I can use this, but I still need to pay true or treat cost. Um, energy should be attached right here. I'm gonna put my Sabbath on the bench, just in case. And I'm gonna throw Jirachi out for another lighting energy. And I'm done for now. Alright. Okay, so there is another Mewtwo after the Looker play. So right now I just bricked a little bit because of the Hypnosis. Still my opponent needs to pay two energies to retreat. Um, I still don't have free retreat. I still can't retreat because I don't have Zerora. to wake up so since I managed to wake up is there anything that this Mewtwo can do in order to knock me out I think there is nothing so I guess I'm gonna go with another nah, I don't need to attach energy right there um... I have to use my footprints. And add three more energies to my Pika Zacrum. I'm going all in here. I have backup Zapdos as a tank and Pokemon here. I have Thunder Mountain as well as Energy Switch available. So, whatever it happens, at least I'm gonna snipe my opponent. Inky probably on the bench, plus Mewtwo in the front, and then next turn just finish the job with the Zapdos. Taking the extra price cards, or maybe I even take a double price card this turn with my Pika Zekrom, taking the Navi versus Necrozma, and potentially Melamar on the bench. Potentially, best play right here would be Custom Catcher play on Mewtwo, Nugget against Mewtwo, and probably, let's say, eh, who knows, maybe even the Dean GX if he runs one, and if he puts it on the bench. But overall, there's a Naganandal GX, alright, so mix a little bit mix of everything. Of course, you can discard Naganandal in your discard pile, or you can play it with the Poipole, because if you run Perfection Mewtwo, that Mewtwo can then just copy any attack anywhere. So it is my turn, alright. What a beautiful... A beautiful turn this will be, Judge. Into the four cards, well, there is Zero Aura, we don't need it right now. What do we need here? We need Tag Bolt and some damage on Mewtwo. Mewtwo! Alright. One prize, Lightning Energy. Um, if he decides to promote Mewtwo and Mew GX in the active position and hits me, he can do that. 
Oh, um, he can also do Miraculous Duo GX, but he needs an extra energy on it. I don't see right now extra energy on it. I don't even see myself having enough resources um, to take the knockout against that Mewtwo, for example, playing Custom Catchers. So, I'm just gonna say it was a um, really bad decision to attack with Mewtwo on the GX on the bench. Really it was. Because he can just miraculously do a GX. Alright, never mind for that because... I guess I can still... I guess I can still... This is a weakness guard energy, of course. There's a Waltner, which I like a lot. And with the Walkner play, I need to take... Is there only one Custom Catcher? Did I play my Custom Catchers? No, that was a... That was game before. You gotta be kidding me here, but seriously, like... I have to use my Switch. But wait... If I attack with the Zabdas, I won't have enough for the Knockout. So, I might pull another... Yeah, Switch seems like a reasonable option here, because... What can happen actually here if we switch to Jirachi and if we pull another Electro Power? Then we can swing for the Knockout. Unfortunately, not enough for the Knockout. Unfortunately, not enough. But I'm still fine hitting with the Zapdos. Hitting with a Thunder is a soul for like 80. Alright, so 80 on Necrozma. Alright, another Psychic Recharge, and right now I'm here to number two, rolling with the energies. I'm still wondering how in the world this stadium survives for such a long time. Um, of course, another switch into the Stellar Wish, into the another Electro Power. So, two Electro Powers moving on here. And I'm ready to swing with my. I can move three energies, right? Right, that's correct. Alright, let's go with the Tower. Down to three. One, Pika, uh, one Pikachu and Raichu would be such a nice play here. Oh, interesting. He might just decide to telekinesis me on the bench for the 50 on this Pikachu and Zekrom GX. And then he might just try to knock me out with Miraculous Duo. Um, hmm. I think that's not gonna be possible. Maybe it will be possible. Um, the problem right now is that I can't retreat. I can't have retreat. I could have retreat, for example. Actually, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go with the YOLO play. So, I'm gonna retreat. I will use my tag switch. Move um, two energies down to my the Dean GX. All right, one electric power should be enough for the knockout here, and all I really need to do is just use my full blitz, and I don't need to attach that last energy anyways. Remember guys, I still have uh, Tapu Koko as well as two copies of energy switch, plus there is still Thunder Mountain staying in the plate. So, even after my opponent used Miraculous Duo, um, of course, I won't be able to knock him out, but um, where's my... Oh, 
Oh, okay, there are three custom catchers right now. I just realized that. Okay. So, um, he could even swing me on the bench with, you know, Naganandal, Winam Shot for 170. Still wouldn't be enough for the knockout. Um. That's a 200, that's the knockout. Um, it is time for the Pikachu. Uh, it, it is time for the Jirachi first to be promoted. So I'm gonna have to find a way to get my... To get my... Um, hmm, actually, one energy switch can do the job. One energy switch can do the job. Do I want to put some energies? Yes. There we go. So two energies. Remember, I still have like one energy card left. So I'm gonna use, of course, my um, Raichu on the bench. Additionally, I need to use my Electromagnetic Raider, um, pretty much for nothing. And then I'm gonna use my Custom Catcher for two. There is first energy switch that, I'm, that I need to use. All right, so I'm gonna need one more after the Judge and Stellar Wish. So there is a really good... Okay, so I even managed to find energy card, so I don't need that. Um, card anymore so what I can do here I can reset stamp my opponent down to three and still I'm gonna need to find that energy switch anyways well there is a switch so I should have 160 with a tandem shop that need to should be knocked out. So okay, 30 more because of the um, electro power. So if Mewtwo stays in the active position, all I really need is just to switch on the Zapdos for the knockout. And once again, he has Cynthia. Does he have a way to switch somehow? There is a great potion that can keep my opponent alive a little bit. Alright, one Psyche Recharge, I think it really doesn't matter where things are going to go, as long as he stays in the active position with the Mewtwo, because I have Switch, which should bring me another knockout here, and another 160 damage, and that should be clearly GG. Alright, so switch to Jirachi. Retreat on Raichu and another Tandem Shock for the night. I could even just play my Stellar Wish in order to find myself a another energy switch in case if my opponent may something to my Tandem Auto to play. So there we go, guys. That was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And once again, another deck list that you can potentially use. Have a nice day, we'll see you next time, so till then, goodbye.